All right, guys, and this will be the final um, video on the virtuous mission. Um, I've decided, and I decided during the last um, video that I am going to, I am going to do this with all the cutscenes. Um, just watching this game, I haven't watched these cutscenes in quite a while, uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. I, ha I haven't actually played this game yet on PS Now, so I'm excited to get all the trophies as well. Um, and then what I'll do, uh, I won't do this probably. Will uh, I've done two? Uh, I was then going to do four, but I want to do this. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to get a backlog of Metal Gear games uh, for the next few months, um, and then I've got a good load of games. So then, if I do this, then I can also do some Resident Evil and stuff like that. So majority of what I'm working on is Resi and Metal Gear. Uh, one thing I will say, I've never actually beaten Peace Walker. So the next game after this will be Peace Walker. And that will be a blind playthrough. I've not properly finished that game. And I've and the fact that I've never done it is actually bad. Um, I will be continuing two. Um, but I want to do two... And then probably either put this alongside two, because technically this is before two. Um, what I was thinking of doing is maybe restarting the order of Metal Gear and putting them all in a single playlist. I know I've done uh, Metal Gear 1, I've done three before, but I did them in kind of like an order. But I missed two, for some reason two isn't on my channel. So actually, I've just had a thought that what I'm going to do, I'm, I've done two, I'm going to do this. I'll do Twin Snakes uh, and the original Metal Gear, and I'm going to put them all in a single playlist. And I think when I do do that, I'm going to do all the cutscenes. Um, now, I've seen the cutscenes on Metal Gear 1 plenty of times, but so what it will be, I'm going to do it. I've done two, so I'm not really fussed when I upload that one. It's not really important, but I'm going to do this. This obviously is the start of it. I can't do Ground Zeroes. Well, I can do Ground Zeroes, and I can do. Uh, Phantom Pain, but I've never finished Phantom Pain. I will do Ground Zeroes on PS Now to see how it looks. Um, and I'll do, this is the order I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do this, Snake Eater, uh, Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes. As the, so it's going to be in a bit... So what, what it is, the original games like Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear 4, they're the Solid Snake e era. So if you think of, of Solid Snake era, and then this is the Big Boss era. So this game, Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes, Phantom Pain. That's the big, but big. So there's four games, Big Boss era and Solid Snake era. And I want to, I, I do want to do this game. This is a game I really want to do. Uh, and I do want to do Peace Walker as well. Uh, but I, one game I definitely want to do on this is, is Metal Gear 4. And that is a marathon of a game. So I've got to do this um, and then also do Metal Gear 4. So I know Metal Gear 4 is going to be a really beast of a game. I'm not sure how I'm going to structure that game. I will be doing maybe a test video to see how it looks. Um, I'm not sure how long I've got to make those videos. Um, because the cutscenes are so long in that game, they are incredibly long. I can't simply add them in because it's just, it's not, not going to do me any good. So I'm either going to have to skip them or put them in. Um, which will make probably my videos going to be minimum, I'd say, I don't think I, I'm going to have a video probably less than an hour and a half. Um, for Metal Gear 4. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each each chapter bit by bit. And I think I'm probably going to upload the briefings separately to the gameplay. Uh, the only reason why is because I think it's going to be easier in the long run. Um, now, I probably will get me strikes or uh, copyright uh, warnings. But the thing is, there's no other way of doing it. If I add it to the, the gameplay, it's just... And Metal Gear 4 is a game that you can... You can marvel and enjoy it. It's a game where you can you can look at it and, and, and enjoy it. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to play through four, first of all, on my own. Uh, and try and get stealth. Um, I can get stealth in this. And if people want me to do stealth kind of a, uh, stealth attempts where I get all the frogs, I will do that. But when I do that, there will be no cutscenes, no radio calls, nothing i'll be going straight through the game quickly and effectively and there'll be a lot of off-screen work properly to look up where these frogs are all right that's enough talking let's continue shall we
Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. All right, let's do it. What's wrong? HQ. This is HQ. What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status.
Right, let's eat a rat. I see you've caught a tree frog. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So, how about it? You mean, is it edible? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably? I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Okay, but what is this thing? Never seen anything like it. Calorie mate is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? What? Huh? It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes, I love Japan. I see you caught yourself a rat. The rats in that area are the descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Uh-huh. So how do they taste? Snake. What? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they taste okay? <sighs> The guide says they're not that bad. Good enough for me. Ugh. I see you found a Yabloko Maloko. Y Yablo what now? <laughs> Yabloko Maloko. It's a Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. It's a type of star apple. The juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you cut one in half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. Hence the star apple. Right. The star-shaped part has a gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. I ate one. It didn't taste that great. Are you sure? It's supposed to be delicious. Nope. It tasted terrible. Hmm. Huh. That's strange. Yeah. Looks like that guide of yours. No. It's your sense of taste. Hmm. All clear. Whoops. HQ respond.
What's wrong? What's wrong? Come on, go away. What's going on? What's wrong? I have to get inside now. And I'm going on 20 minutes, I've still got quite a long cutscene to watch. You must be Sokolov. Are you 
One of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the Army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the Motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volkin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? from my mentor. Is that so? America's truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there.
Please! <gasps> So this is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot Commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. An Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> The other one. Whoa! I am still Ooh. there. We're watching all the cutscenes.
first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> All right, I think I probably will end this video because uh, I'm going to do the last one in, in the next one. There'll be a little bit of a gameplay, but not very much. But This cutscene was kind of interrupted. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do when it, can't, when it does that because this is what this fucking Major, does. do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. You know what? I think, for argument's sake, I might just add in the final cutscene. Um, because it's just easier. I mean, is it worth it, though? Yeah, I, I probably will. Um, I'm going to save it. Um, I'm pro I'll, I will go down and go past the point where I go. I see you've caught yourself a Sunda whistling the, thrush. The video. And if I then do... The Sunda decide... whistling thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. The guy doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. <sighs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it here. Saving the game, Snake? And I'm going to go head out of the area, and then if I want to add in the cutscene, I will. But if it, if not, it will end normally. Uh, so that, that that's my plan. That's my idea in my mind at the moment. I think that's a good plan. So if it, if I do start a new video, you'll know about it. If I don't, then it will continue after this. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fishman? You started it.